Uh, next, we have a company called Mutu Inc. Their tagline is, they're going to do for video what Pandora is doing for music. So when I put this slide up at a uh, presentation in a small room, or I send it to someone via email, normally the response is, is uh, media evolved, kind of a sarcastic tone, or people don't like hearing about paradigm shifts, Dick. And I say, this can actually be read two different ways. Okay, media evolved in reference to the beautiful user interface we have here, or media evolved in the past tense, referring to media itself. Media evolved, and media is evolving. We're seeing an explosion of media, very similar to big data, but this is not just being fueled by sharing and social platforms like YouTube and Facebook. It's also being fueled by the drastic cost reductions in audio and video equipment. Uh, for $1,000, people can create entry-level professional video media uh, High school students, college students, starving artists can now put together professional media and put it on YouTube. So our vision is to bring order to this chaos. There's 400 years of video on YouTube. There's 72 hours being uploaded every minute. It's a lot of media. How do you get the right media to the right people? Okay. So it all starts with curation, a quality filter. Uh, I put this up and normally people are shocked. They're like, yeah, that's a lot of, that's a lot of brands you got up there. What are, I go, that's actually 2% of all the record labels that we are curating content from, 2%. So there's a ton of media out there. This is our team. I'm Dick Wolf, the founder and CEO. Uh, my background actually started off technical. I've got a degree in electrical engineering. Then I did SAP development for a few years and ended up in enterprise sales. Um, uh, our graphic designer uh, slash front-end designer has been with the team for about a year and a half, and then we also have content managers. Content is extremely important in what we're doing. And when we start looking at the competitive landscape, we can actually put our competition to two categories. Your media companies, which are uh, music video aggregators, and your technology companies, which are YouTube repackagers, the Call TV, um, the music video genome, the intelligent delivery. And what you're seeing is that uh, the media companies are using uh, technology to leverage media, and uh, the technology companies are using tech. Yeah, okay, sorry. We gotta start moving forward. This is our fourth iteration. Um, we're on number four. This is just a, a diagram of the development that we're currently undergoing. So we're putting a lot of energy into the curation process as well as the social discovery algorithm process, which is curation, taking playback data, and helping people discover new music videos. We're also putting in HTML5, so it will be available on all platforms. The market size is one billion individuals watching four billion videos per day. When you look at the grand scheme of things, of, of players in the space, um, the music, video, TV, movies, the only major vertical that has not been uh, capitalized with recommendation systems is video, and I believe this is because it's such a new market. All of these uh, movies, TVs, these were adaptations of a media that people already knew how to look at to the internet. So our business model, uh, traditional forms that Pandora is using, subscription, advertising, commission, but we see the gold mine as being consumer data, not just selling back the information to record labels and artists, but actually looking at correlations between the media people are consuming and the brands people are buying. Uh, we're raising a half million dollars for 18 months, uh, and our exit strategy could be being acquired by a Google, Vivo, a uh, Pandora, or an Amazon. Something interesting to point out is this market is three times as large as the audio streaming market. We're looking for investors with vision and developers. I'm currently looking for a CTO. And this is my contact info, thank you. Questions? Question, uh, why is this different from a search engine? 
different than a search engine. So, I mean, fundamentally, you go to YouTube and you pick the content, right? Uh, what we're doing is we are pushing content. So, YouTube's been trying to figure out discovery for five years, and quite frankly, recommendation systems push you towards what you already know about and what's already popular. Um, using a push system and uh, structuring data differently, you can help people discover new things. So I guess the other way of asking is exactly who would be sort of benefited by your system and what would they, would they pay for it? How do you, how do you get yeah. to them and what do they get in return? I'm, I'm still not, we're not convinced here. I don't know that, uh, is there something there that we're missing? I don't know. Um, in terms of what is, this, what is the problem you're so trying to solve and who's going to pay for it? Right, so it's, uh, to summarize it, we're doing for video what Pandora did for music. And uh, like any system like this, it's all about the number of eyeballs that you get. Now, if you look at the teen market of 13 to 21 year olds, 67% of them are discovering new music through uh, YouTube music videos, 67%. Compared to the rest of the market, it's 7%. And the real question is helping people discover new things. And we estimate right now with our fourth iteration, we're helping people discover new content 10 times more quickly. Uh, in iteration five, we'd like to be up to maybe 30 to 50 times more quickly. Or yeah, it's, one second, um, the user has to come to your brand name. Uh, yeah, I was, I was going to show you guys it, but unfortunately, uh, unable to connect to the internet. Yeah. It's, uh, it so uses the YouTube API, so it's a discovery platform built on top of YouTube. Okay, but you still have to build the brand name for consumers to come to you. Um, yes. That's what it is. Of course. It's, uh, yeah, it's an intelligent layer that's on top of YouTube. So it's like a video portal. What's that? It's a video portal. It's a video portal? Um, yes, it streams you one video after another. It takes your preferences and playback data to figure out what you like and help you discover new videos. Right? So it's one video after another being pushed to you. You select an artist or you select okay. a category, it puts together a related playlist of videos based on how wide it is, just like Pandora, starts streaming them to you one after another. If I could show you the interface, it's similar but a little bit more robust in terms of being able to search, browse, go forward and backwards than Pandora. How much of, the con how much of, of this is based on, I guess, existing views or, I don't want to know what the secret sauce is, but ex existing views of a particular video so that you could then incorporate where it fits into this larger map. Right. Um, so for example, could theoretically a completely undiscovered video be popped up and said, hey, this ties in. So is there a degree of automation in trying to determine what the video is about? Right, so for us it all starts with human curation. Every video is looked at by a human. That process takes about 30 seconds, and we, we drop it into a subcategory genre. So, I mean, that's, that's the first stage. And then the second phase is uh, collaborative filtering and then delivery. That answers your question. Great, thank you. Thank you.